How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lie Hobby Time. Today I'm going to be building a Darth Vader diorama for my friend Sam. I'm also going to be including a tutorial on how to build your very own lightsaber for a 1 to 12 scale model. It looks absolutely incredible and it's very easy to do, so stick around for that. For the base, I used an old picture frame that I found at the thrift store. I spray painted it black, then combined it with a few other materials to make it look like the floor that you see Darth Vader and Luke fighting on in Cloud City. To allow some of the light to pass through, I use some 8th inch opaque acrylic. This allows light to come through and it diffuses it very nicely across, giving it a soft glow. For the bottom layer of this, I could have used a number of different materials, but I had some old canvas board lying around, so decided to use that. I ran a few strips of the LED tape across the bottom. Initially, I was a little concerned that it was too close to the acrylic and that you would be able to see the individual LEDs, but it just happened to be far enough away that that wasn't a problem. After those were all in place, I soldered them so that only the red lights would come on. It's always very satisfying when it works. I then drill a hole in the back of the frame for the power cord to be able to pass through into the diorama. I drilled a few holes in the acrylic so that the wires coming down from Darth Vader could get through. And I put it all together with this framing staple gun. The lightsabers are made from these 3 volt LED filaments. Someone named Sebastian in one of my videos told me to go look on AliExpress and I did and I was very surprised to find these little filaments that run right off of a 3 volt power source. This is going to be how we make our lightsaber. First thing to do is hollow out the inside of the lightsaber. Used a very tiny bit to drill a pilot hole and then followed it up with a perfectly sized one so that the filament would have a nice snug fit. You could stop at this point if you really felt like it but I would suggest continuing. To add rigidity and structure to the lightsaber, I'll be using the copper wire and a cocktail straw. Make sure you grab one that is nice and clear or opaque. You will have to glue the lightsaber into his hand in order for this to work. Then drill a hole right alongside into the hand this will allow the copper wire to pass through. The copper wire is nice and straight, helps add strength to the lightsaber. It's also the route the electricity takes. After that, you can cut your straw to the shape of the emitter and start feeding everything through. I added a few bends in the copper wire to help it match the blade shape a little better. Then I cut it to length, 
scraped off some of the enamel coating and soldered the end in place. At this point the lightsaber is essentially done. In a dark room you can see that it is nice and bright. You could stop here, but I want to get a little bit more brightness out of this so that you can see it more noticeably in the lit room. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. There are probably a few ways to do this. How I did it was with an old USB cable, which has a voltage of 5. This filament, however, would burn out at anything over 4 volts. So, in order to drop down to a manageable voltage, I used two diodes in series with a resistance of 0.7 volts each, bringing it down to a very manageable 3.6 volts. This boosted the brightness enough, it was a lot more noticeable, but it didn't burn out. The diodes get a little warm, not too bad, but just in case I'm going to insulate those to keep them safe. Next thing to do was to hide the wires and run them down his back. I also lit up a few of the buttons on his chest plate with one of these nano LEDs. Luckily, it is the same voltage as the lightsaber, so I wired it all together in parallel. I wrapped the lightsaber in some red cellophane. I also colored the buttons on the chest plate and hid all the wiring behind his cape for attaching him to the base. Instead of just gluing him to the base, I also drilled some holes in his feet I ran some wires through and bent to the sides. This made him much more secure. After he was in place, I soldered everything together and called it good. is it for this video thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it sam i hope you enjoy your gift have a great week everyone i will see you next time